ಸೊ ಇವತ್ತು ಈ ಮ್ಯಾಕ್ಸ್ ಸ್ಕೋರಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ವಾಟ್ ಟು ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಟು ಸ್ಕೋರ್ ಸೊ ಐ ಹೋಪ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯು ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಕೇಜ್ ಇವಾಗ ನಲ್ವತ್ತು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ತೆಗಿಯೋಕ್ಕೆ ನಲ್ವತ್ತರಿಂದ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಈಸಿ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಆಲ್ರೆಡಿ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಶೇರ್ಡ್ ಇನ್ ಮೈ ಟೆಲಿಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ವಾಟ್ಸ್ಆ್ಯಪ್ ಗ್ರೂಪ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ನಾಟ್ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ಲಿ ಜಾಯಿನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಕ್ರಿಪ್ಷನ್ ಬಾಕ್ಸ್ ದ ಲಿಂಕ್ ದಯವಿಟ್ಟು ಜಾಯ್ನ್ ಆಗಿ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಪಾಸ್ ದ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಚಕ್ ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಪುಟ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನೋ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವಾಲ್ಯೂ ದಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ಫಿಚ್ ಯು ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಎರಡು ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಸರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಏರಿಯಾ ವಾಲ್ಯೂಮ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡಿಂಗ್ ಫಸ್ಟಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೋನ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾಸ್ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ಇರ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಯು ನೋ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಇರ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಪಕ್ಕ ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ ಕ್ವಶನ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಸಿ ಯುವರ್ ಮಾಡಲ್ ಪೇಪರ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಿ ಇಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಫಾಸ್ಟ್ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಇಯರ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಮಾರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಪ್ರೂವ್ ದಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಇರ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ರೂಟ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಇರ್ ರ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಸೊ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ವೆರಿ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೋ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಸೊ ದೇಲ್ ಗಿವ್ ಟು ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ ಲೀನಿಯರ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಶನ್ಸ್ you have to find the value of x and y through elimination that is a pakka question next they are asking sum up to nth term not nth term sum up to nth term both an and sn both simple problems you will definitely get for two marks and that too i feel sn problem will be in two marks so sum up to nth term next quadratic equation two marks by solving the quadratic using quadratic formula you will be solving the a uh, quadratic equation by using the quadratic formula that two marks a definite question next uh section formula and distance formula okay so this both can be asked any one can be asked for two marks directly section formula directly distance formula for two marks they can ask next coming based on uh, coordinate geometry they can also ask for i feel three marks will be a direct question area of triangle so what others extra they may ask i will come in scoring package but i feel for three marks you will have an or question in which you will definitely have one to find the direct area of triangle three coordinates kodtare area of triangle formula ki simplify madod they will give next mean mode and median three marks one definite you can either study mean or median if you want to know all this so in my day 1 to day 13 videos each video is not more than 10 minutes if you watch all the videos all this will cover each day next coming to ogive obviously less than and more than it will be direct problem they'll directly give more than less than it is direct plotting please take out graph sheet in practice end to end i'm also putting the scale all the details here to since it's three marks it'll be very neat agirbekadu next circle theorem there are two theorems better to know both the theorems but priority is the tangent drawn from external point are equal next to graph obviously graph pair of linear equation and lastly the tail they are the four theorems you should know all the four theorems no compromise in it they might ask bpt pythagoras or angle angle or areas of similar triangle any of the for any one can come we cannot predict what will come what will not come so this is the passing package that you saw on the screen this is the you, you will if you can practice all this i can definitely assure 40 marks next coming to now after you if you are pakka with these things and next how to score the extra 40 marks where all you should focus which chapter you should focus that one by one we'll discuss firstly one markers one markers it's very simple it carries certain ideas we want to check certain ideas so it will be very simple if you want to know about one marks i'll put a one mark video in description box just made last year it holds good for this year also i have in detail we discuss about all the one markers which can be asked so this one mark video kindly watch okay next coming to triangles this one three marks or two marks is a definite question here triangles if you know there are four exercises i mean four different concepts first concept is bpt second is angle angle third is areas of similar triangle and last one is pythagoras theorem these are the four concepts that is there in textbook we as a paper setter want to ask question on these four concepts also now if at all there is one question obviously one one marker will be okay in that if you ask a, con- a question on bpt and for four marks if you ask a question on pythagoras what is other two remaining concepts it is area ratio and angle angle right we might ask question on angle angle and area ratio sir now how to practice this problems okay this one it will be combination of two three ideas so you have to go back to your 
uh, few old papers. I mean, this model paper problem you solve, uh, then uh, last year final and supplementary paper. Okay, if you can take those and solve the problems and catch the ideas. If you want to in detail know about the ideas, I have already made a video on triangles. It is 40 to 45 minutes in detail how to analyze this problem, how to solve this problem. Okay, so triangles only you must more, more than textbook concentrate on previous year papers. Okay, more than textbook previous year papers is important. Next to prove problems. This is from textbook only trigonometry. This can ask for two or three marks. Okay, in model paper it is asked for two marks. It can also be in three marks, but I am, I am definite that this will come from textbook only. Practice all the 11 problems that is there in textbook, including the example one. Including the example, practice neatly, understand, try to understand and practice. Basically, in this trigonometric to prove problems, we want to check you, we want to check about the trigonometric identities, whether you know identities or not. So, try to practice the textbook problems clearly. Okay. Next, AP extra problems. This is four marker or three marker, you might get four or three marks. So, here, where do you get AP problems? So it will be from not from textbook, textbook in the code. It is always from outside textbook and it will be easy. If you want to solve these problems, I have there is one more video because everything I cannot solve here. There is one more video uh, where in the description box of that video, I have uh, consolidated nearly 10 to 15, uh, nearly on 20 problems which are outside textbook and discussed in detail. All the problems are solved. Watch that video to get an idea from where they can ask AP problems and 100% it is out of textbook. Triangles and AP are out of textbook. Next, probability will be asked for two marks. It will be very simple. It will be direct from your textbook. Try to solve 1 to 14. There are around 25 problems. Try to solve 1 to 14 problems and try to understand very simple they will ask. They will ask about dice. They will ask about coin. So all simple problems they will ask. Okay, it will be simple. So, next coming to polynomial division. I mean, this will be from textbook itself. Okay. Polynomial division. In polynomial, you know, the exercise, there are uh, three plus three around six problem. Try to solve. So, division, finding quotient and reminder. That is what they want to ask for. Three marks. It will be simple. Practice the textbook problems. Next, areas related to circles. Here, these two will be little complicated. Little complicated. But where to solve? My suggestion is first solve the last exercise. Where, see, in areas related to circle, we have certain concepts. For example, we have area of circle, circumference formula, area of sector formula, area of segment formula. These are the four formula and area of equilateral triangle. So, these are the five concepts where we would like to make a problem such that it covers all these five concepts. So, and also shaded region problem, shaded region, six concepts. So, we would try to accommodate as much as concepts in one problem. Nalakaido concepts na one day problem two sak pratna prati. Ali ven marbako. So you should practice the last exercise that is the shaded region problems. Practice all the problems. There some twist and turns might be in the same problem they will give, but little twist and turns. Instead of giving radius, they might give circumference and ask you to find the radius and then solve the problem. Even for this, if you want to know the idea, there is one more video which I already made. It's in the description box. Kindly go back and understand what are the concepts. So, solve from the textbook last exercise. QE verbal, quadratic equation verbal, it has been asked for 3 marks. Okay, it can also come for 4 marks, but I feel it will be asked for 3 marks. So, where to solve? First, you give priority to speed type of problem. Even this I have already solved in the video. All the in quadratic equation, there are varieties, speed type of problem, age type of problem. Uh, there is upstream downstream type of problem. Uh, there is... Uh, Problem, some geometric ideas. So, I feel first priority you should give on speed related problems, then upstream downstream type of problem. So, textbook only try to solve the problem that is there in textbook, categorize in this way. Anything asked about speed, practice it first. Anything asked about upstream downstream, practice it first. Then come to age related one. Then lastly, you come to um, questions based on areas like rectangle, diagonal. Then there is some relationships you can establish area of triangle and diagonal. So that one, if you want in detail and extra questions to go to my uh, description box now. I have put a video and in that video description box, you will find that document. Next, coming to surface area. This one, 
I will do one more class on surface area also. But here, surface area volume first priority is solve the first term of cone problems because first term of cone is a newer concept that has been asked this year. So there are chances that you can ask more, uh, the 60 to 70 percent chances that you can have first term of cone problems. So first solve the textbook problems of first term of cone, especially examples and exercise. You only on six seven problems you will get. After you solve that. Go back to your previous papers and try to solve, pick up certain ideas. See, there are, if you go on practicing, there are thousands of problems. You cannot problem solve the, cannot solve all the problems, right? But you need to get the ideas, how to solve the problem, where to substitute pi, how to simplify it. Here you need to have a mathematical knowledge. So here you need to uh, practice more because it is asked for five marks. Next, lastly, coordinate geometry it is already covered, but still, I feel better you also practice trisection problem. Trisection in the section formula, second second problem. Then uh, you also practice uh, if if the if the points are collinear, find the value of k. It is the second problem from the areas of triangle, the areas of triangle exercise, last exercise, the second problem, where you find the value of k when three points are collinear. If three points are collinear, they are in a straight line, they cannot form a triangle. So triangle area will be, area of triangle will be zero. So you equate to area of triangle formula and find the value of k. That problems better to solve once. And also trisection problems. In section um, formula exercise, okay, uh, you will find one, one, one type of problem where they will give you the uh, two coordinates and the mid this uh, one point and ask you the ask you the ratios. You are going to have section formula. What do you find? You find this point, right? And M1, M1 and M2 will be given. This both coordinates will be given. You will apply section formula and find at what point it is divided, right? That is a direct problem. What they can do in your exam is they might not give you M1 and M2. They might give you this P of XI value and this point and this point. They might ask you to find M1 and M2. This type of problem it is there in textbook. Okay. Where M1 and M2 you need to find. Find the ratios they will ask. Other problem is solve. So you will basically cover. First if you cover that 40 marks which I told. Practice it well. Then come back each one. Then I feel you first finish one markers. Easy. Easy wise if you want to come. You finish after that. You come to one markers. Then go to probability. Then go to polynomials. If you can cover these three. 10 more marks, 50, 55 marks. Then you come back to, you can cover the remaining one. You can cover coordinate geometry. Then you have to focus. You have to practice this. 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 You have to work out. You have no other options. So this is about the scoring package. And I also included the passing package also in this video. So with this, with this ideas uh, and try to solve all the problems that is there in your model paper. Uh, so for your final examination, these two papers are very much important. You need to know all the problems that is there. Firstly, you need to know all the problems in model paper, official model paper and upcoming state level preparatory paper. These two papers are very much important. In the Erdo paper, now if you can practice well, few problems will be as it is, at least 20 to 30 marks. We, means more, the pattern will be same, but similar problems you may have, have, have for 15 to 20 marks, I feel. So for all the subjects, these two, practicing these two papers are very much, very much important. Okay. So please kindly subscribe my channel. I'll be very consistent from now. Uh, so that's all. Thank you.